Hi, it's Bill Prater and welcome to another a Supercharging Business Success podcast. For today's event, we've got a really fantastic guest here for you because if you think you've struggled through your life to build something meaningful, well, when we hear from Manoush, you'll know, maybe I had it pretty decent. Uh, now, Manoush is, a, is a, effectively a serial entrepreneur. He's an investor. He owned and founded uh, about two decades ago, Tetra Noodle, which is a software consulting firm up in, uh, up in uh, Vancouver, Canada. And over the years, he's helped business owners, founders, CEOs build effectively high value networks, ex especially if you're an introvert, building networks might be a little tougher. Now, he started his career at 15 years old, working in a factory for 12 hours a day, six days a week, and he, he built his fortune at the rate of $2 per day. While Manoush had no contacts, no resources, no network, he was in, in determined to improve his life, and he realized that the place to go is through education and building meaningful relationships. Because for him, and for frankly most of us, the only way to achieve your goals is to do that. So he managed to acquire a modest education. Then he went on to become a technical leader in multiple companies, including Fortune 100 named companies. And while building his career, he fought decades of anxiety, depression, and pessimism and he indulged in meditation and mindfulness. So he is, and those uh, people know him as being deeply spiritual, not religious at all, and, but he focuses on accessing and training his subconscious mind, which helps him create the life that, his, that he's dreaming about on an active basis day to day. Manoush, thanks very much for showing up to and share your insights with us. So. Remind us all, what's the title of what you're going to be talking about today? First of all, thank you so much for uh, having me. Uh, so excited to be here and thank you for that lovely introduction. Uh, the title for today, uh, what I'm going to talk about is uh, relationships are the best investment. Excellent, excellent. So as you, Manoush, are now learning and, and, and our listeners know, I love to use a seven question in seven minutes format. Yeah, yeah. So I'm going to start the timer now, ask you the seven questions. Here we go. And so uh, first question is, who is your ideal client? Give us a description of what, that, uh, what him or her would look like. Mostly we work with ambitious people, uh, you know, people who have already seen some success or even if they are at the beginning of their journey. Uh, but they realize that, you know, uh, especially talking about this pandemic situation, they realize things are changing and in order to get through this uh, tough time, uh, you really need support and guidance of uh, you know, some uh, really deep, meaningful relationships uh, with people who have faced these kind of challenges before. Uh, of course, you know, this is something that nobody could plan for, um, but uh, you know, when, you, when you have support of a community, of, uh, of your family, of your friends, um, and you can sort of help each other, get some help from others. Uh, that's when, you know, you can, you can be prepared for, for a crisis like this. Okay. So, we're right at, we're right at six minutes. So to go. So if you were to think about the major problem that, that, that your services help people with, what is that problem? Uh, we allow people to have more conversations with the right person, develop deep relationships, because every transaction that happens, every business transaction, uh, or even in our personal lives starts with a conversation. So having that coherent conversation, uh, getting to know the person, building that relationship leads to any other uh, thing that we want in life, you know, whether we are looking for funding, whether we are looking for a new client, whether we are looking ah, to find our got kids, it. you know. So, so uh, if, if you were to think, uh, question number three, we've got five minutes, 16 seconds. Question number three is, what sort of symptoms or indicators would a person have so they would know, you know, I should reach out to Manoj? Well, first of all, as I said, if you are an introvert, introverts, because I'm an introvert, um, I know it's so hard to muster up that courage and go to somebody and just say hello. And even if you can do that, uh, what 
what comes next. Like introverts have a tough time, you know, carrying on a conversation. And if you cannot do that, you know, there is, even if you have the best of intentions, you cannot form a bond with the, with the person or, or uh, you know, the counterpart that you're trying to have a relationship with. So uh, once again, you know, we, we um, help people to get over these uh, these anxieties, these shortcomings, and build meaningful relationships. So, uh, so the, my fourth question, about four minutes, 20 seconds to go. My fourth question is, you know, I'm one of these, so I can ask this question authentically. What are the common mistakes that people make when they try to solve this all by themselves and don't he- seek uh, out people like you to help them? The the worst uh, the worst mistake the the biggest mistake is focusing on ourselves. You know, when uh, especially uh, as entrepreneurs, we are trying to look for things about what to talk about. We start babbling about, okay, you know, I have done this, I have done this, I have done this. It's all about us. But if you put the focus on the other person and we say, hey, you know, tell me a little bit about you uh, and get curious about their uh, journey, their family, their uh, you know where their experiences. The first of all, the conversations uh, flows very smoothly. And you don't have to think a lot about what to say because sure, you know, sure. the other person is doing most of the talking. Yeah, yeah. And I could think, you know, now we're fighting this, uh, this pandemic situation. And so a lot of people are kind of hunkered down, they're hiding. So reaching out to your relationships and having an authentic uh, conversation sounds fantastic. Yeah. So what's, uh, if you were to think of one valuable free action that each of us listening to you right now could take, what would that action be? We're going to sit at three minutes to go. So whether, whether you are in a business uh, uh, or you're in a profession, um, building a, a high value network is the best investment you can make right now. So my advice to you will be go on LinkedIn, connect with at least 10, 20 people uh, of, the, uh, of the right persona that you are trying to work with. Uh, and want to de- develop a relationship with, uh, have have uh, you know conversations with them, send them a message, and generally ask them how are you doing. You know, if if, if right. there's anything I can right. do to support you, right. um, and uh, and that's the first conversation you can have to form a relationship. So make uh, 10, 10 or twenty conversations every day. So um, now I, I know, but our listeners don't know that you've kind of created a free valuable resource for us. And so I, uh, so tell us, you know, what it is and then how can people go to one of your websites? What's yeah. the link, by the way, we'll, 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 we'll type the link or print the link out. So people don't have to remember what, where would they go to get what you're offering? So, um, I had tremendous success in investing in relationships. So I wrote a case study, a fairly long case study. So it'll like, if you have 20, 25 minutes, uh, go through it. And you can reach it by going to website uh, innerget.com. So I N N E R G E T dot com. And and just with no uh, sub, sub page, that will get you directly to the to the to the report. Fantastic. Right. So we got one and a half minutes to go. So plenty of time to ask the seventh question, and that is, what's the question? that you were hoping that I would ask, but I didn't ask it. So tell us what that would, that question that I should have asked you mm-hmm. and then tell us the answer. So the question is what will be the currency of the future? Okay. Okay. And the currency of the future is going to be online credibility and your personal brand. Um, I, I believe we are going to see this uh, social distancing for a while, even if the uh, economy opens up. Because, you know, we are, we are emotional beings and we are going to associate uh, going outside with disease and, and whatnot, right? So security is our main objective uh, as, as humans. So I believe 30, we, are 30 going seconds. To, we are going to, uh, you know, uh, have this. Um, uh, so online credibility and personal branding will be key. So if you are looking to get ahead, uh, start investing in building an online brand. Excellent. That is fantastic. I really love the question that I didn't ask you and the answer you gave us. I, uh, I got to say that I'm an introvert as well. Mm-hmm. And you and I are about the same in that we've had our businesses for 20 years. Yeah. And up until this year, I never, ever personally branded it. Because yeah. I felt the business should carry the load. But you've just 
said, hey, Bill, you got to change your ways. You got to get up there and get on stage. I really appreciate that. Well, on behalf, Venusha, of all of myself and all of our listeners and future listeners to this podcast, thank you very much. We appreciated having you here. Thank you so much. It was a lot of fun. Thank you.